Hello and welcome to another session of quantitative technique videos at edupediaworld.com, your favorite portal for online education. Continuing with time series analysis, we had been seeing the moving average method in the last session and after working out a few problems in the previous session, I had given you two problems to solve. And today we shall take up both these problems and I'll be giving you the solution. You can match it with what you have done yourself. This is just to consolidate your understanding. The questions which we had were the first one was the, uh, the one here. Estimate the trend value by taking five yearly moving average from the data given below. Graph the original and the trend values and thereby show that wherever the original curve is concave from below, the moving average value lies above uh, below it and when it is convex from below then the moving average value lies above it and when it is straight both of them coincide so here we have the data of 17 years let's take them and understand this let's work it out so here I need to take five yearly moving average so first let me take five yearly moving total in this column and to if we take five yearly moving total we will have the values taken for five years that is from one to five and that will be the sum of these five and that would be centered to my third year which is the center here so here I'll calculate the sum of the first five values okay and that will correspond to the third year and then I will take the average of this by dividing this data this value by five so here I have the five yearly moving total and then five yearly moving average which basically is your trend value okay let me drag this down to the to all the cells and we can only bring it down to the 15th time period this will correspond to the value the sum of the values from here that is 70 up to 93 we have no values beyond this therefore we cannot move ahead and we will have these two uh, rows here in the last and the first Two row here in the beginning blank all right so this is our trend value or the moving average value five yearly moving average for this set of data now to plot the graph I'll have to take this and the values here and the graph will look something like this where you have the first data starting from here the blue line shows the original data and the red one is the trend value okay now in the question we had uh, they had asked you to show that you yeah, have the original curve is concave that's here mm, the original curve is concave here then the moving average value lies below it you see here this is the original here okay when it is concave then the moving average value lies below it that's here okay and when it is convex then the moving average value lies above it and when it is you know straight then they are coinciding so this is what we had to show and that's evident from the graph all right so that was the first question to solve the next question was this one where you're asked to determine the value of the moving average by using the three yearly moving average uh, three period moving average and then also find the short term fluctuation for the various years assuming additive model okay in the additive model let me mm, clarify that the components are added fine and the short term fluctuation is your seasonal variation and then they're asked to they're asking you to plot the original and the trend value on the same graph now if you look closely this is exactly the question which we solved in the previous session this is the first question which we solved in the previous session so we already have the graph for this okay and we also have the question solved all we need to do is just get the uh, uh, the short term fluctuation so let me just redo this for you here we need to first find three yearly moving total then we will find the three yearly moving average and then we will find the short term fluctuation fluctuation and the short term fluctuation will be your yeah, moving average value is the trend value 
short term fluctuation will be the difference between the original value and the trend value okay so let me do that very quickly we'll of course miss out on the first one second we will take the sum of the three one two and three and then here we will take the average of this data and this would be the difference between the original value which is y minus the trend value which is given in this column and we see that the values are the same so therefore the fluctuation is zero in this case okay moving ahead we will have till the second last value we'll have the data and then we have the trend also the sorry the short term fluctuations here in the last column we see that there's fluctuation only on, at certain points 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay now if you look at the graph here this would be evident this is the graph we have you know most of the times in this this one it coincides exactly you see this the second data it coincides exactly with the original one the first we do not have the trend value the third one is little upward that's why you know we have the negative sign here fourth one is below it by one unit fifth one is below it by uh, says uh, by 0 0.33 next one is much above it which is here minus 1.67 and then 67 is just below this one this again is coinciding fully that's why the value is 0 you see this one it coincides fully and then finally this is a little below it and here again we do not have any uh, trend value okay so these are the solution of these two questions well that's all we have in this session and that's all we have for the moving average method in our upcoming videos we will take up the next method of calculating the trend that is the linear trend using the least square method okay that which falls under the mathematical trend so keep watching edupedia world videos thank you